check out how you can upgrade your gaming setup with light projectors, LEDs, and other accessories by using the links below. How's it going everybody? It's your boy Spooky and today I'm going to be telling you about Ammonite Crabs and how they compare to Sand Crabs. So if you just clicked on this video and you wanted a quick easy answer, uh, Ammonite Crabs are much better than Sand Crabs and I'll give you, uh, let's see, five quick reasons as to why that is. So number one is they have uh, much more HP, almost twice as much HP. It's 60 HP compared to 100 HP. So you can quickly compare uh, three sand crabs to two ammonite crabs, and uh, you'll notice that they have 180 HP versus 200 HP. So uh, that's already one difference. And there's plenty of two ammonite crab spots as, to, as opposed to always having to fight for uh, the three sand crab spots. Um, in my experience, there's just always so many people at uh, sand crabs and it's you just get crashed all the time. But uh, the next reason is you'll never have to pay for Ammonite Crabs. Um, now, I know not everybody goes to Crab Claw Isle, but if you do, um, at best you're paying 5k if you did the diaries, but you just shouldn't have to be paying when there are better options available and they are less crowded oftentimes. So the next reason is that there's a bank nearby on Fossil Island compared to the uh, Ammonite Crabs. And comparing this to sand crabs, where again, if you go to Crab Claw Isle, which a lot of people do, um, if you're a pure, then you are wasting so much time and GP uh, running back and forth and paying that 5k or 10k every time. So the simple fact that the bank is very close by to the ammonite crabs is great. And lastly, uh, it's just much faster to get there. Well, not much faster. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but I did time it and it takes about um, 32 to 35 seconds to get to sand crabs if you use a skills necklace or a Xerix uh, talisman. And comparing this to the uh, dig site pendant usage, getting to ammonite crabs, it takes about 22 seconds. So uh, that's just the quick rundown. And then the only downfall is that it can take um, 30 minutes to two hours to unlock the ammonite crabs, depending on how progressed your account is. But in my opinion, that is a very fair price to pay uh, to unlock these crabs, which are much better. So um, that's just a quick, easy answer. And uh, now I'm gonna be moving on to a more in-depth and elaborate breakdown of why this is true. Okay, so now we'll be talking about uh, damage taken. So ammonite crabs are much better for this. And uh, I guess it's important to note that this only applies if you have low defense. You know, if you're like 30 plus defense and you get to wear like adamant armor or whatever, that this is, doesn't apply to you. But for people training up pures or low defense accounts, um, ammonite crabs are going to be significantly better. And the reason for this is um, if you're dealing, you know, a def decent amount of damage, let's say like 40,000 experience per hour, uh, you'll need like three or four sand crabs to uh, sustain constant damage. Uh, making sure your character isn't just standing there. And if you have low defense, that means you've got three or four crabs attacking you all at the same time. Now, this doesn't sound like a big deal, but when again, when you're one defense um, and, it, and you're far away from a bank, this becomes a big deal because you have to eat all the time and you have to bank more often, which um, it just cuts into your experience. It's like, you know, it's just kind of annoying. So uh, it is a, a fairly big deal. And then um, one thing that people don't know about and this is something I only recently learned, but if you go to the Eastern three crab spot for Ammonite crabs and you stand in the right place, um, they will oftentimes get stuck on each other. So you're only getting attacked by two at a time, which means uh, you can be taking half as much damage and doing um, significantly more damage per hour while standing at a, an Ammonite crab spot compared to sand crabs. So now I'll be talking about accessibility and you'll see what I mean by accessibility here in a second. There's just a few things to address. So first of all, sand crabs are accessible to everyone. You don't need to do any quests, no requirements. All you have to do is get to Zaya and run south and you can start killing some sand crabs. Compare this to ammonite crabs. It does take, um, as I mentioned, 30, about 30 minutes up to maybe two hours on a brand new account to unlock sand crab, or excuse me, ammonite crabs. So that is one of the few downsides to ammonite crabs. Uh, the next thing I'll be talking about is um, banks. So comparing, comparing banks with sand crabs and ammonite crabs, 
Um, Ammonite crabs have a much closer bank, which is great. Sand crabs, you may have to run for, I don't know, maybe a minute if you're coming from Sand Crab Isle, or Crab Claw Isle, excuse me. And um, oftentimes while you're doing that, your crabs are going to get messed up. You're going to mess up other people's crabs, and you might just get crashed. Someone might take your spot. So that's a, a very annoying thing about uh, sand crabs. And the last thing, which I believe I mentioned earlier, is that it takes only like 22 or so seconds to get to ammonite crabs using the dig site pendant. Compare this to about 32 seconds from the skills necklace getting to uh, sand crabs. Now you could mitigate this by setting your uh, home teleport to to Zaya. I think it's Hasidius maybe. Anyway, there's a there's a home teleport spot nearby the crabs, which you could do that, but uh, if you're gonna go through all that effort just to kill some crabs, I would say just go ahead and kill some ammonite crabs. So regarding experience points, uh, you should know that sand crabs and ammonite crabs are about the same. The only difference is if you're very high level, say something like 90 plus, and if you're, if you're doing something over like 66,000 experience per hour, that's about the the mark that I got to where I was killing sand crabs too quickly, uh, then you're going to be losing out on experience points uh, per hour. And it's at that point that you want to uh, upgrade to ammonite crabs or some sort of other training because if you're doing something AFK, you might as well get the most out of it that you possibly can, obviously. So if you're doing over like uh, 65,000, like I said, uh, you'll definitely want to move on from sand crabs. So when regarding ammonite crabs, you pretty much will never kill them too quickly. And that's the reason I say this is because I've got an essentially maxed one defense pure with like 97 strength, uh, 60 attack and like maxed gear. And I don't remember the exact experience rates per hour, probably like 70,000 per hour. But even while doing that, basically a maxed account, uh, I was still barely running out of ammonite crabs. So. There was a very small amount of time where I wasn't doing damage, which means um, at 99 strength, I don't even know if that would make a difference. So uh, th this is just all to say that killing ammonite crabs is going to be basically your best option at higher levels, and it's going to be very difficult to do so much damage that um, there they'd be a waste of time. You'd have to do something like using a blowpipe. Now to address crowdedness, I don't. Even, that's probably not a word, but how crowded uh, each one is. So it's hard to measure this, but presumably uh, they are about the same. But I do have to address a point again that I, I briefly mentioned earlier, which is when you're at sand crabs, people will always be messing up your crabs. That's just the nature of it. Um, they're so close together and there's so many of them. And if you go to something like Crab Claw Isle, uh, just because of the nature of the shape of the island, people are forced to run in all sorts of strange directions and it will it's just more likely to mess up your crabs um, this is again when people are resetting aggression and I it's only happened like less than five times that I've tried to hop for uh, ammonite crabs and I just haven't been able to find a world and if you truly go through this problem you can just run to the northwest corner of uh, fossil island and there's pretty much never anyone there um, and there's a three crab ammonite crab spot there. So I'm going to wrap this up with uh, just quickly talking about cost and drops. So to put it simply, crab claw isle to cost 10k or 5k and ammonite crabs will never cost anything. All you have to do is build that bank and um, you never have to go back and forth uh, paying for different trips or anything. Uh, the only cost I guess you could say is the dig site pendant that you have to buy those and enchant them but that is a very small price to pay and lastly I'll talk about drops so they have pretty much the same drop table with the exception that since you're on fossil island you're getting fossils as rare drops so ammonite crabs actually give you like an xp boost um, I'm to be honest with you I'm not a hundred percent sure how fossils work but I do know that you trade them in and if you complete some like statues or something in the muse Farrakh Museum, you get some extra uh, XP lamps. So you're getting some passive experience if you choose to pick up the fossils. Uh, if you care about completionist stuff, then uh, you've got that going for you. And 
Uh, they do consistently drop seaweed spores, which are like 1.2k. So if you wanted to pick those up, you'll probably make a good amount of money. Um, you'll make all your money back from potions, presumably. So um, given that, um, you know, it's just another reason that ammonite crabs are the best. So uh, I'm going to wrap up the video right there. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please give me a like. I would appreciate that a lot. Check out how you can upgrade your gaming setup with light projectors, LEDs, and other accessories by using the links below.